Hello? I need to find my... Sharpie. All right, I am doing a, a stream only signing. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, prints that people have pre-ordered. Um, so if uh, if you would like one as well, let me actually get a link for that. Because um, how this works is I do all these in one batch and we send them out. So <clears throat> I'm not sure when the next signing will be. So if you want one, uh, make sure you get one. Um, Thank you, Leo. And uh, I, I'll try to do better about, I think in past ones I didn't call out all the names of people, only ones that had special messages, so uh, this time I'll try to make sure everyone, um, I say everyone's name. Uh, here is, this one's for Elias, Elias, E-L-I-A-S, how do you say that? Elias, Elias. Um, Flack means the world to me as an agender person with too many pets. Thank you so much for giving that such a great voice. Thank you very much, uh, Elias. No, you're not gonna look at the name. How do you say the name? How do you pronounce E L I A S? Anyone in chat know offhand? We, we are, are looking, looking at how to pronounce these names. I wasn't how expecting you to say it correctly. It was such a deep voice for the pronunciation. In English. English. Elias. Elias. Well, thank you, Elias. next one is actually not to any no name on this one but if you could put Mordecai's name next to your signature and write down a little threat that's directed towards me that would be great thank you okay let's see here you know I'm always not sure where to sign on because like the art on this one is so nice um, I'll just do it like here. Yeah, sure. I actually asked Tracy um, how Mordecai writes because someone asked for Mordecai's handwriting, so. I tried to write it um, similarly. He writes very like straight, like sort of slanted letters. So I uh, I try to do the. I'm not. I don't have very good handwriting, but I try my best. Let's see. What would be a good threat? Um, uh, a little threat. What would be a good Mordecai threat? Hmm. He always goes for something simple. Just like, you are finished. Something like that. A die. <laughs> That's pretty straightforward. Um, enough of your shenanigans. That could also be... It's kind of long. Um... I will end you. <laughs> Maybe. I will end you. Sure. Why not? He 
very threatening. Just got some new prints of Doctor from um, Big Top Burger that just came in. Um, Worthy Kids myself, Ian did a fantastic job. Um, so these are these came out beautifully. This one's for KK. Very excited about Doctor. This one is to Braden. This one, can you add a star next to your name? It's for my wife for the holidays. That's very sweet. And uh, if you are one of the people who ordered one and want to see, I can pull up your print if you want to see it. All right, one of the King Dragon training cards for Garrett. Our new, the new uh, Cat Viper print, also, um, by the very talented Vero. Um, these also came out great, if any of you are interested. Um, I need like a whole setup. For personable, personable. The very cute uh, baby Mordecai. This one's for Joshua Richmond.
King Dragon. Oh yeah, so for those who want to see, you know, just options you can get, this is the King Dragon Everdell card. And then, uh... Where'd I put the Battle Spirits ones? I'm going to be doing a con next week, so I need to collect all this stuff. Uh, oh, shit. And I dropped them all over the floor. Love that. Love that. Big fan. the uh, King Dragon Battle Spirits cards. Another doctor one. Um, yeah, while I'm signing these, um, you guys can ask questions if you want, since I'm just hanging. Do a little Q&A if we want. Got a bunch of these doctors to sign. This one's to Maddie. This uh, person says, thanks for your hard work. Thank you so much. To Sion Cronin, Sion, C I A N. How do you say that name? C I A N, Sion, Sion. Well, thank you. This one's for Aaron. ones to Oliver a, for a doctor print a joke about the bad food taking over appreciate it or just insult me or don't put anything but your name I don't care it's your life let's see for you Oliver um, all right uh, you know a joke about bad food and insult you know your, your cooking is a joke I'll write that how about that
One for Zaydrem. Zaydrem. Uh, this one's to Meticulous Metzger. Metzger? Um, write anything else you like, I'll treasure it. I'll go with the classic, you are adequate. People seem to like that one. Anyone ever told you you sound kind of like Flack from Borderlands 3? I suppose that makes sense. To Levi, would you mind writing, I wish I were this ficus? I wish I were this ficus. So these are autographed prints that people pre-order, um, and then they get delivered to you. So if you want one, uh, I'm signing them now. Uh, so any orders I get during the stream, I will finish, um, and they get sent to you. Um, I only do these every now and then, so it's an opportunity to get a cool piece of art um, if you want. Because uh, the only other way you can get these is if you see me at a convention, at like a signing or something. Um, this one's to Maddie, and can you write, We meet again, Big Top Burger! On the front. Sure. Favorite voice acting role I've ever done? Um, you know, there's uh, a bunch. I mean, Kage from Ranking Kings, Hyodo, Gretzko, uh, Flack. Um, I really loved doing Brow 1589 from Pluto. That was like a dream for me. <laughs> uh, this one is clearly from, looks like, my manager. Uh, make it out to Corey. Uh, to Corey, Gemma is my favorite love <laughs> song. Clearly, Gemma got. The, I have two managers, and they're both great. Uh, let me let me get one of those for you.
Yes, finally got the long needed haircut. This one is for B and Leo. Are you going to do a Thanksgiving? I am. Uh, we're going to my wife's parents or family, I guess. Um, not just not just her parents, uh, but my wife's side of the family will be spending Thanksgiving with them. So that'll be fun. I'll be flying out for that pretty soon. This one's from Madeline. Uh, here's one. Could you write my favorite flack line? Do not fear death. She is a friend who welcomes you at the end of your hunt. Sure. It's a really good line, honestly. This one is for Angel Corey. Some I want. It's one of the big. This is one of the big uh, double signature posters I do with Jason Marnoka of our Black Daisy characters, which is also an option. Looks like that's um, everything so far. I will, the rest will be a Q&A, and I'll also, do any pre-orders that come in, um, I will gladly do. So, uh, if you order one, um, let me know in the chat so I can make sure. I will be refreshing here and there. But, uh, yeah, I guess for... For now, we can do Q&A, and then, yeah, if you want a print for yourself, um, you can pre-order one here, and I will sign it right now.
questions, guys? While uh, I'm here. Looks like uh, we got one uh, from S. Ollie G. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do at a con? For me, it's meeting the fans uh, and hanging out with other guests. Uh, and if they have a board game library, sometimes I get to play board games, which is a plus. Um, but uh, thank you, Ollie G. A fancy Lysanderoth for you. If anyone else wants one. You can order one here. Please write the stupidest Pokemon villain goal said in Lysanderoth's voice. What would be the stupidest one? I mean, S Cyrus is pretty stupid. Cyrus is, what was his deal? Like, oh, uh, get rid of all emotion or what? Destroy the universe. Uh, something stupid. Um... Chat, what do we think is the stupidest Pokemon villain goal? Make the world anew. That's pretty good. But Ali G, since it's your print, is there a preference you have? I kind of like make the world anew. Uh, make the world as beautiful as me? How about that? Does that sound good? I will make the world as beautiful as me. Cool. I'll, I'll go with that. Thank you very much, Ali G. This will be uh, sent to you. My goodness. Hello. Fuck off, then. Wow. That's, that's quite something. People are very, very impatient. Uh, people really demand uh, attention. It's quite, quite interesting. Um, but yeah, if uh, anyone else wants one, uh, let me know in the chat if you order one. Uh, like Moobot says, you can get one here. So, otherwise, uh, just do a Q and A for a bit. If we want. I'll probably stick around. I don't know, half an hour tops. Um, and because again, uh, if anyone wants to get any last orders in, because um, I probably won't have another one until maybe next year. Uh, we'll see. What have you been playing lately? Uh, I just uh, finished the main story in Pokemon Scarlet, and I got every Pokemon in it. Uh, I'm saving the DLC for when I get back home because I'm going to be gone for like two weeks. Uh, I beat Yakuza 3 for the first time before that. Um, very flawed game, but it's Yakuza, so it's fun. Um, in board games, yeah, last night I played, um, Dorf Romantic, the board game, which is a really good solo game. 
that has the achievements you unlock. I've been having fun with that. Um, let's see. Favorite fruit spread. I don't know, just like a strawberry, a good strawberry jam or something. Um, my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, my favorite Gen 9 game. Hmm, well, I have two options. Uh, Gen 9, you mean Scarlet Pokemon. Let's see. I mean, even though I didn't pick him, Sprigatito is so cute. Uh, I was tempted, but I did I did not like the final evolution, so I went with uh, Boy Coco. Um, let's see, ones that I really liked. Uh, just going through the Paldea. Okay, decks right now. Um, it might be Sprigatito, which is such a basic answer, but I, I do think that's like a perfectly cute Pokemon. Um, but there were definitely others. Um, let's see. Belly Bolt is terrifying. Um, oh, I do know ones because I really they were a really big help on my team, but I'm forgetting their names offhand. One is like Rev of Room. I like that one a lot. Um, Tink Tinket, the little fairy ones with the hammers. Uh, man, there are a lot of Pokemon. Uh, Tinkaton, yeah, I like that one. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, Rubber was just this weird little guy that became such a big help on my team, and so I have a lot of affection for him. Uh, I do like Grievard, I think it's very cute. Um,. So yeah, the boring answer is it's Sprigatito, but I'm just pointing out ones that I I particularly like. I like Don Dozo. Uh, that one's fun. Gimme Ghoul. Yeah. Are you Koridon or Miraidon? I like Koridon. Have you done any traveling lately? Uh, I went to Vegas for like a weekend, but nothing too crazy lately. Mainly just staying home. Are you bringing board games to Thanksgiving? Uh, I don't know. I don't 
Anne Marie's parents, I don't I've never brought up board games to them. Um I don't know. Because I play board games with my family. Um uh, I don't know, Amory usually doesn't feel like doing it. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to play board games right now. And I respect that. Um, I'll ask her if... Because we've been playing Welcome to the Moon, which is a campaign game. I'll see if maybe she'd want to play that. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm playing one, a solo game called Dwarf Romantic, and it's really good, but I think I'm almost... I'm pretty much done with it. I like went crazy yesterday and played like 12 games in a row because you unlock stuff with achievements so i have i think only like one more play and then i've completed it uh the thing is we're, I'm, we're gonna go to pax unplugged because i'm guessing at pax unplugged like right after so part of me is like maybe i shouldn't bring board games because then i'll have more room to for buying board games so we'll see did you go to the f1 race uh no do you like the Mega Man Pokemon? Is that the Char Cadet one? Is that the one you're talking about? That one's cute. Oh, there's an order. This is for uh, Robson Clark. Thank you very much. Let me get that for you. Yeah, if anyone else wants one, uh, you can pre-order one here, and I'll sign it right now. I won't be probably won't be doing one of these for another one of these for the rest of the year. So this is a good opportunity. very much oh yeah uh, any more questions and or if you make an order let me know and I'll sign it right now oh it's around for like 20 more minutes unless there's just no questions. I think retail work should be a D&D &D class. I think everything should be a D&D &D class. Dolphin trainer. Pizza guy. Are you looking forward to the live action Mufasa movie next year? Uh, no. What on earth will that even be? Also, I'm looking at the Wikipedia article. Timon and Pumbaa are in it? <laughs> Wait, what?
who wants this? I mean, you know, the director is Barry Jenkins, right? You know, Moonlight's a great movie. So, but it becomes just a question of, is the script any good? Does there any point to it? You know, you can attach an amazing director and it doesn't matter if the writing and concept is just bad, so. Fun. Uh, love that. Now, now I'm just thinking, like, how are they, is it going to be, like, I didn't watch Lion King one and a half, but is it, are they, like, the narrators or something? Because I cannot think of any possible reason why else. Uh, oh, okay. The preview revealed that Rafiki and Timon will tell stories about Mufasa's past and his way to becoming king. Okay. How fascinating. I gotta start uh, compiling all the prints I'm bringing to packs. I have so many now, I'm like, might need to bring like a suitcase and just wheel that around or something. Got a whole bunch of the new cat vipers. And the doctors. This will also give me a good idea of how many, how much I have to carry. Let's see. Uh, my Hanja, I don't actually really know. I, I, uh, I'm not a really an expert on that, so I have no idea. Um, I think my mom would know, but uh, I don't. Probably will still bring the briefcase just because it's a cool briefcase. Senpai.
definitely in a suitcase at this point. There's way too many prints now. I think I'm almost out of the Lysanderoth ones. There's only this many left. Which... We'll probably do more, but... Damn, this is a... Yeah, there's a lot of them now. Well... You got 10 minutes if you want one of these prints before I pack them away for packs. You can pre order one here. I will sign it right now and it'll be included in the next, uh, in the next batch. So just let me know in chat if you uh, order one. Otherwise, I'll take any last questions people have. the best way to pack this. Like how heavy, ooh, pretty heavy. Yeah, look at that. So, if any of you want to pre-order one, do me a favor and lighten the load. questions how many licks of the center of a tootsie pop you know I did that once as a kid but I don't remember the answer it was a lot though Man, you had a lot of free, people had a lot of free time as kids. Sandoroth is the one I have the least of now.
What's your next live slash voice show coming out? Uh, unfortunately, can't talk about it. Um, you can never uh, talk about your upcoming stuff because of NDAs and secrecy. So. Oh, you got a doctor print. Nice. What was your What was your name? Ah, yep, I remember you. You asked for. I can pull it. You said to write an insult, so I wrote to Oliver. Your cooking is a joke. There you go. I'm sure you're a great cook. All right, this is last call for any last questions and any last orders. Um, if you want one, order one now, because you probably won't have another one of these until, I don't know, January, February, so. Last chance before I head out. And if you do get one, let me know in the chat. Oh, nice. What is your, um, your wife's name? I can pull it up uh, from. And uh, what character was it? Z. I don't remember one. Uh, unless you just asked for one. Were you the one who wanted the one with the star next to my name? I remember one of those. I did write. I did do one of those because it didn't have a name. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Here it is. That's right. I remember that. Of course, my pleasure. Thank you for uh, ordering one. All right, guys, got like two minutes to order or ask a question before I leave. So, What is the correct control placement for the A and B buttons? Ooh. Okay. Without looking at a controller. Well, on this is an Xbox controller, but I do like the placement of A down here, B here. That's what I'm used to. And I think that's what it is for most, if not all, A, B controllers. Or X circle, X is confirm. Oh, is Nintendo the outlier? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why I... Hmm. So like in the Pro Controller, it's A, B? Oh, is it? I don't know, GameCube is big A. Oh, I don't even, I don't even think about it, so. Now I'm going to go grab a pro controller. I'm so astounded by this. Wow. Wow. Uh, I never thought.
thought about it. You're right. It is A B. But why is it? Why does it feel? It's definitely like controller shape. For me, does kind of like when I hold an Xbox controller, I just. Oh, but they're, I don't know why, they're so similar. Whoa. It's something about controller shape, because I feel like my thumb naturally just goes on the A with either controller, like, without thinking. And that might just because I know, but it's not like I'm thinking, ah, oh, yes, this is a Nintendo controller, that is where A is. I think it is something to do, because these, you know, Xbox One's got big, thicky... Thicky legs. Interesting. Huh. All right. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this one. Um, gonna be it for this shut one. up, me. And uh, oop. cool. Well, to everyone who did order one, uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your prints. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace.